Hello beauties, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing a palette and I'll be reviewing a Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. I got it in my Boxy Charm in the month of January and I have been using it since I got it. I have also created few looks on my channel using this palette and I must say I'm very impressed with this palette and the eyeshadow quality. Uh, later on in the video, I'll show you the swatches of this palette and then I'll show you some of the dupes which I found uh, from naked smoky palette which are in this palette and uh, I think uh, they have duped each and every shade present in this palette so I'll be showing you those tubes and telling you uh, whether they are identical or there are any differences so stay tuned for that and I'll, if you are interested in the look I have uh, created today you can stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll be doing a demo on this look to begin with uh, the packaging is a very beautiful cardboard packaging and it's very sleek and travel friendly and the one thing I liked about this palette is it has magnetic closure so it shuts close itself and nothing comes off so, so that makes this palette very travel friendly and it's very thoughtful of Coastal Scents to give a magnetic closure in their palette so now this palette doesn't come with any mirror or any brush applicators so that doesn't bother me because I don't really use any mirrors provided in the palettes and I'm quite okay with it but if that is something which bothers you then you should check it out. This palette has uh, 20 eyeshadows as opposed to 12 eyeshadows you get in uh, Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and that one retails for $54 and this one is for uh, $20 and if you can wait for sales and offers they have on their site you can get a really good price on this one so that breaks down price per pan to $1 which is good. So these are the 20 eyeshadows you get in this palette and I must say I'm quite impressed with the quality they are not the softest eyeshadows available in the market but they are not bad either and pigmentation is great I'll show you the swatches of all 20 eyeshadows these are the all 20 shades from the palette and top row is swatched at the top bottom row is swatched at the bottom and I have swatched them without any primer and I dipped my finger once in the pan and all these uh, swatches are single swipe on my arm and the only shade I'm not satisfied with is uh, at the top row, uh, fifth shade. It's a gold shade which is very flaky and lacks pigmentation. Rest, uh, all the shades are beautiful and I'm super impressed with the mattes. So uh, that's all about the swatches. Let's move on to the video. Thanks. Now as you have seen in the swatches color payoff is great and each and every shade shows up really well. The, the only thing that bothers me is the fallout. I do get little bit of fallout with these shadows but considering the fact I get same amount of fallout from the Urban Decay eyeshadows from their smoky palette I must I must let it go because I paid $54 there and I'm still getting uh, fallout from those shadows so i only paid 20 dollars for this so i'm not bothered much that i'm getting fallout i can always wipe it off or i can do my foundation at last and get rid of it out of 20 shades in here every shade performed as per my expectation except for one which is this gold one this is very flaky and it kicks off a lot of powder as you have seen in swatches also it's not that great pigmentation wise so that's something to keep in mind so out of 20 one is not performing but you are getting 19 solid shades so I think that's totally worth the palette. The one thing I like about this palette over uh, Urban Decay Naked palette is that you get a lot of shades to play around and create your looks from daytime to nighttime smoky looks so that is not there in uh, Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette you really have deep dark uh, colors there which has really good pigmentation you can achieve great nighttime smoky uh, looks with that palette but 
there are not enough shades with which you can play and create daytime appropriate smoky eyes or uh, neutral uh, looks in this palette you are getting those things and easily you can create a daytime appropriate eye look and then you can transit that look into a nighttime smoky eye look so that is what i love about this palette and i think technically this palette is half of half the price of that palette so i think that's a win for this palette now there are some things in uh, Urban Decay's Naked Smoky Palette which are absent from uh, Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette and I think I must mention those things in case you are judging your palette based on those things and those are packaging. First the packaging is superb. You can't beat that and the second thing is matte performs superbly like uh, you need not to do any hard work to build the matte pigments and blend them whereas in this palette you really have to build the matte colors and then you have to like really go in there and blend out those colors and the second thing is um some of the shades in urban decay naked palette has very beautiful finely milled uh, shimmer which is not glittery and it has no fallout so that is absent from this this has chunky glitter uh, it's not too chunky but it's not finely milled either and eyeshadows in urban decay smoky palette are soft to touch and they are highly pigmented whereas here eyeshadows are not that soft to touch but so without wasting much time we will now move on to the dupes which this palette has for Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. So let's swatch those. Here is our first tube. Uh, first shade swatched is from Urban Decay High. And the second shade is uh, from Coastal Scents. It's first shade from the second row. And Urban Decay one gives off more peachy uh, tone and has very finely milled sparkles. Whereas uh, Coastal Scents one has no sparkles and it gives off more uh, silvery tone. But on eyelids they look pretty much similar. The first shade swatched here is Dirty Sweet from Urban Decay palette and the second one is second shade from second row and these shades are almost identical and they look identical uh, swatched and they look identical on the lid. Now here uh, first shade swatched is Radar from Urban Decay and this shade has a lot of uh, sparkle whereas uh, the second shade is uh, third shade from the second row and it has metallic finish so uh, finish wise uh, Coastal Scents is more pigmented than the Urban Decay one and here is how it looks like. Now here is uh, Armor from Urban Decay's Smoky Palette swatched first and the second shade is 7 shade from the second row from Coastal Scents Palette and I must say Urban Decay one has more silvery sparkle and it's more pigmented whereas uh, Coastal Scents one is more of a metallic finish it has no sparkles. Here I have swatched uh, Urban Decay uh, Slanted first and the second shade is 8th shade from 2nd row from uh, Coastal Scents palette and I must say both the shades were uh, difficult to build up and Urban Decay one has more of a silver sheen and uh, Coastal Scent one is more of uh, like darker shade and has no sheen. And here is a uh, dagger swatched first from Urban Decay uh, Smoky Palette and uh, second one is 8th shade from first row and I must say both the shades are identical both in finish and color payoff. Now here I have swatched Black Market from Urban Decay Smoky Palette first and the second shade is from Coastal Scents and it's 10th shade in second row and I must say both of these shades are identical both in color payoff and finish. Now here I have swatched Smolder uh, from Urban Decay Smoky Palette first and the second shade is 9th shade from first row from Coastal Scents Smoky Palette and as you can see uh, Urban Decay one has more sheen and more purple comes off whereas uh, Coastal Scents one is more deep dark purple and it has no sheen. 
Now here I have swatched password from Urban Decay palette and uh, second shade is sixth shade from second row and I did require to build up a uh, coastal sense one and password had very good pigmentation but they look identical in person on camera coastal scent one is coming out more of a gray. Now here first shade swatched is whiskey from Urban Decay Smoky palette and second shade is from Coastal Scent. It's fourth shade from second row and again like the previous shade I had to build it up and uh, matte shades in uh, Urban Decay palette performs really well. They are very smooth whereas in Coastal Scents one you have to really build them up but finish wise they are identical and you cannot uh, make out a difference between the two. And here I have swatched Combust first from Urban Decay Smoky palette and the second shade is second shade from first row and uh, both the shades are identical and again I had to work a little bit on coastal scents to bring out the pigmentation but Urban Decay one was smooth and highly pigmented and finish wise they are identical. Now here is the last shade from Urban Decay Smoky palette. It's 13 swatched first and the second shade is first shade from the first row and both of these are identical and again both are matte. They look similar and I didn't need to do much of the work to uh, build this shade from Coastal Scents and both are smooth and pigmented and look identical ask me uh, which eyeshadow palette uh, you should pick between the two I will say pick up uh, Coastal Scent Smoky palette because it has so much to offer eyeshadows has great pigmentation uh, fallout is comparable to Urban Decay Smoky palette uh, all the shades in Urban Decay uh, Smoky palette are duped in this palette and they are like some of them are identical in finish and uh, uh, this one packs little more eyeshadows which gives you little more area to play uh, your eyeshadow look from day to night and transiting the looks. So that's that. And on top of that this has great packaging. This is very travel friendly. That one is also travel friendly but this one is sleeker than that palette. And the other thing is the cost uh, this is almost the half the price of that palette and with few offers and uh, sales going on coastal sense website you can get it very cheap that was all for this video guys now let's move on to the tutorial and see how i created this look 